good afternoon friends welcome back to my channel today's video is a little more casual than normal um i'm in leggings i'm in a sweater it is actually really warm in florida today but i'm just kind of running errands and getting some stuff done so um today's video is going to be me reacting to your unpopular disney opinions specifically um, I asked on my Instagram and various social medias to get your unpopular opinions and I'm gonna be react going to be reacting to them. Um, I have to give a shout out to her name's Madison Faith on YouTube. It's my Pixie Dusted Life on Instagram. She did this a few weeks ago in one of her videos and I have to give a shout out because I did get the inspiration from her. So she's super great. You guys need to subscribe to her, follow her, you know, all that jazz. But yes, so... Um, I know I've had a lot of like kind of random vlogs recently, but we're hoping to get back into a schedule and do this a lot more. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the unpopular opinions. I just want to reiterate that these are people's opinions. These are not my personal opinions. I'm just reacting to whether I agree with them or not. Let's make sure we don't get into fights. And this is just Disney. This is just fun. This was just a fun little video for me to do. Okay, so I have the unpopular opinions on my phone. So we're just gonna go ahead and start reacting to them. So the first one I see is that Rise of the Resistance is overrated. <sighs> I have to agree. I am not a big Star Wars fan. I feel like this is like a crazy one to start out on, but I'm not a big Star Wars fan. And now granted, the ride is very well done and it's like, it, <laughs> it's very immersive. It's very immersive. It's very well done. I love the way it's done. That is a 10 out of 10, but I think the ride itself is like so hyped up and like all of this stuff and it's just like, like I like Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Runaway better. That's probably because I'm just, just not a Star Wars fan. Um, the next one is Disneyland is better than Disney World. I cannot attest to this. I've never been, but if you've been, let me know what you think about that. The next one is Magic Kingdom is my least favorite park. I think this is an unpopular opinion, maybe, but then again, like the other parks really do have a lot to offer. So I don't know if it's necessarily unpopular, but Magic Kingdom is one of my favorite parks. It's definitely my top two, for sure. Um, the next one is Space Mountain is lame. Disagree. That is, Space Mountain's so much fun. Now granted, I think the Disneyland version I've heard is better but Space Mountain is so, so, so fun, and I it never gets old to me. Um, Flight of Passage should be renamed Soren over Pandora. I saw a few about Flight of Passage, like being the worst ride, or just being Soren with, without the smells, or stuff like that, but I personally really like Flight of Passage. I think it's so much better than Soren. I think it's, I know, granted, I do love Soren, but I just think it's so fun, and like, it's, Oh, it's just so great. So I love Soren and Flight of Passage, but Flight of Passage is just like different. I don't know. I would have to disagree. Um, let me find one that I agree with. It's all better at night. Uh, never mind. I don't agree with that. <laughs> oh, someone said Animal Kingdom is not that entertaining. I, I think it's better than it used to be. I love going to Animal Kingdom because for the safari. It's my boyfriend's favorite park, but I think it's definitely like a little, oh, I just don't know how to say this. It's just not the best park, but it's so big. Like, I think they've done a lot with it. I think Pandora was like a game changer for it, but I don't think it was, ne I don't think it's necessarily like the most entertaining place in the world, especially without like the birds of flight and the characters and stuff. It's just kind of like difficult. Um, small world sucks, agree. It's so annoying. Turkey legs are disgusting. This is true. I Well, granted, I haven't tried a Disney turkey leg, but I had a turkey leg from Universal and it was garbage. It was disgusting. I felt like crap the rest of the day. I don't have any desire to try turkey leg from Disney World now. Someone said they need to bring back fast passes for Florida annual pass holders. I, mm, I don't know if I agree with that, mostly because 
fast passes like they are great and all but like there are certain attractions that we could just never ride because we could never get a fast pass and we weren't gonna wait three hours in line so like I kind of like the fact that we can get on anything now like flight of passage safari would even be long sometimes um like mine train granted i don't wait for mine train that often because it's not that great but like it's big thunder mountain like certain things you just couldn't get on because there are no fast passes and like i wasn't gonna wait like two hours because the posted time was literally accurate so i don't know like i have mixed reviews on whether i want to bring back um fast passes or not um someone said I hate Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and Flight of Passage. Who, who pissed in your pancakes? That, dang, dude. By the way, these are random people that I actually don't, I don't know who they are, so. Um, Flower and Garden is better than Food and Wine. Ooh, this is debatable. So I'm about to go to Flower and Garden for the first time in years, like in the next couple weeks. So I will get back to you on that, but I do love a good food and wine festival. Now, granted this person, she goes, I'm only 20, so she can't drink. So definitely food and wine is like a lot more fun when you can actually consume alcohol, but uh, well, I sound like an alcoholic. Anyways, um, Carousel of Progress needs an update. Yes, duh. Do, 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 do. The Contemporary and the Grand Floridian are nothing special and not worth the premium price. That's a thought. Um, I think they are beautiful. I Well, okay, I don't like the look at the Contemporary Resort, but I think the Grand Floridian is beautiful, but I've heard, I've never stayed there, but I've heard that it's not worth the money. Um, Universal and SeaWorld are a lot more fun. Mm, SeaWorld, definitely not, but I think Disney and Universal are so on like polar opposite ends of the spectrum, especially right now. They do things so differently that like, it's definitely possible to like more one more than the other when they're so drastically different, especially during this like COVID stuff. Um, I think sometimes people exaggerate things about the parks. I think that's so true. People do exaggerate. They're like, oh, there was 50,000 people there today. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> what? Epcot is the best park. I know a lot of people that agree with this. I don't think it's the best park, but I do find myself going to that park more than I go to any other parks. So I think that's partially true. Um, another Space Mountain is overrated. Someone said it's easy to get a boarding group. I don't know if that's an opinion, but that is like not it. Like I think finding a boarding group is so hard. Like granted, I've done it. I've gotten a boarding group once or twice, but it is so hard to get one. Like I know it fills up so quick. Soarin', Rock and Roller Coaster, and Test Track are all super overrated. I think they're older, so it's not necessarily like, they're just not new and exciting. The old Test Track was better in my opinion. Even the old Soarin' I feel like was better. I miss the smell of the orange groves. But Rock and Roller Coaster gives me a migraine. If you saw my Hollywood Studios vlog, I do ride it, but I do not like to ride it. Epcot is just a care and hangout. No comment. Cast members are really just employees. Um, they definitely are employees. They're, what? Epcot is a huge waste of money. Everything is blocked off. Nothing to see here, folks. Just black walls. Mm, that's kind of true. I need to finish that because my camera's going to die. But Epcot is like so far under construction right now that it is kind of like hard to enjoy it. But it's really not bad. Um, I think that's, I think I'm going to end with those. I think that was a lot of, um, unpopular opinions and I don't want this to be a negative space. I want to do maybe a popular, well, no, that'd be silly. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I so appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little casual sit down video today. Um, I got more vlogs coming from Epcot, Flower and Garden, different things outside of Disney I'm super excited for. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.